Are you ready for a grain-free, fiber-filled, nutritious, and delicious breakfast recipe? Well, it's five whole food ingredients straight from your kitchen that's easy to make, that's very filling, that will also get that morning sweet tooth. So we're gonna start off first by using a regular sweet potato right here. You're gonna cut up one banana, then you're gonna use a quarter cup of your favorite nuts, two dates that are chopped up, and these are my favorite dates that I use to sweeten things up. And then you're gonna to top it off by drizzling it with creamy cashew butter. All right, first things first, let's wash this sweet potato and then you're gonna dry it off and then you're going to poke it holes in it. You don't wanna do this with wet hands. You just wanna make sure it cooks thoroughly. Then we're gonna set the oven to 425. In between 400 and 425, it just depends on your oven. I'm gonna do 425 today. Okay, then you're gonna take a pan and you're gonna put your sweet potato in there and we're gonna cook this baby up for breakfast. So put it in the middle rack, and then you're gonna shut the door and put the timer on. And I always like to use the microwave timer, even though I never use the microwave, but I'm gonna set it for 30 minutes. That seems to be the perfect time for my oven, but your oven may vary, so maybe check it out for 20 minutes. After 30 minutes, you're gonna pull that baby out so we can dress it up. I love me some sweet potato, especially plain, just like this, I can eat it plain. Okay, so what you can do is open a sweet potato up, you're gonna mash it with a fork, and then we're gonna start dressing it. Now you can top it off with anything first. I'm just starting with dates today. So I'm gonna put the dates on, because it's nice and hot, and it'll just kind of make it more warm and melty. And I just love a hot sweet potato and the dates and stuff. Then I'm gonna add the nuts, okay? And you can add any kind of nuts that you like. I'm using a mix of pecans and walnuts today. And then you're gonna add on your banana. So top off your banana. Look at that, so delicious. And you can also mash up your banana. I've had people blend it up and put, use it as a drizzle. So, you know, whatever you want to do, you can be the creator of your dish. I just love the food freedom of a plant-based lifestyle. Okay, so then you're gonna drizzle some creamy cashew butter on there. This one, you can heat it up if you want to, or you can just have it plain. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons on this dish. I gotta be careful on the cashew butter because I can eat a little too much. Okay, then I took two dates with some water and I made a date paste, and so I'm gonna drizzle that on top. So it's a little extra dates, I know. But here you go. This could be breakfast or it could be dessert, right? So if you have a major sweet tooth, this breakfast is for you. It's nutritious, delicious, has tons of fiber, a little nutty, a little sweet, and oh, so, did I say delicious? <laughs> you can get more recipes like this on plantchicks.com.